How's it going everyone? So today I'm going to talk about how to get rid of back spasms fast. Before we begin, please subscribe to my channel if you guys haven't already. I do appreciate the support. It helps my channel grow. Also, if you guys have any questions at all that you guys want me to answer, simply comment below and I will answer them in video format. My videos are scheduled, so they may take a little bit, but have no, have no worries, you guys. Your videos will eventually get answered by me. Again, this channel is all about making the best experience for you guys. Whatever questions you guys have, I will answer them. The more likes a question gets, is the higher chance that I will make it sooner than others. So just because all my videos are scheduled, if a video gets or a comment gets a lot of likes, you guys, I can put that ahead of it and uh, I will make it sooner. So back spasms happen because of pain developing in the back due to uncontrolled mild contractions of the muscles of the back. Spasms can be triggered by using your muscles too often or a more serious underlying issue. So what are the reasons why you get back spasms? Number one is gonna be electrolytes are out of balance. An electrolyte imbalance occurs when there is an imbalance in ionized salts such as the proper amount of sodium, um, magnesium, potassium, phosphate, calcium, uh, bicarbonate, and chloride. If your sodium is way too high and your potassium is too low, you may have an imbalance, you guys. The way we are as a society, most Americans consume 3,500 milligrams of sodium per day, 1,200 milligrams over the recommended amount of 2,300 milligrams, you guys. Majority of the population doesn't eat enough potassium, calcium, or magnesium in their diet. This is due to the Western civilization diet. So with electrolyte imbalance usually follows with some form of dehydration. It is very important that you stay hydrated. I know it seems like hydration is always the answer for most questions. Uh, the reason for this is because between 60 to 70% of our body mass is water. So 70% of our brains are composed of water and our lungs are made up of almost 90% water, you guys. So that's, that's a ton of water, you guys. Um, so make sure to stay hydrated, two liters to three liters of water per day, depending on your body weight and your activity level. Uh, third tip is gonna be stop moving immediately when you have the back spasm and try to lay down. Again, do not move. A lot of people try to walk it off or they try to move uh, to get the blood flow. This is incorrect and this can actually hurt you. So try to lay down wherever you are. This will prevent injury. You never know if a back spasm could be a nerve problem or a disc problem. That is why I recommend to stop and just lay down, you guys. Uh, tip number four, if you are constantly having pain, use heat packs and cold packs for your back. What will this do is the cold therapy is known as uh, chirotherapy, you guys. It works by mitigating blood flow to a certain area of the back, which can stop swelling and inflammation. It also, uh, also stops nerve activity, so it can help with nerve pain. Applying a cold pack should be done five to 10 minutes max. Do not follow the common myth of 20 minutes. This can numb and damage your skin, you guys. So I see it all the time. People, they'll get the ice pack, they'll put it on for 30 minutes. Completely incorrect. I don't wanna see you guys hurting your skin at all. Stick to, again, five, 10 minutes tops. Again, I, I recommend the lower amount, always five minutes, perfect. When ice is applied to your body, it causes vessel dilation, and this limits blood flow to a specific body part. Uh, so that limited circulation, because again, it's just from your, your veins, right? That limited circulation helps to keep the swelling down. Heat therapy works the opposite way as cold therapy. Minor stiffness or tension can often be relieved with only 15 to 20 minutes of heat therapy. Heat therapy can be applied a bit longer than cold therapy without the worry of damaging the cells of the epidermis. Improve your posture, you guys. The way we are as a civilization is that we are constantly hunched over and we're on our computer screens. This causes our scapula, which is again, just our upper back, it causes us to pronate or hunch over. Um, you don't want this. To fix this, we need to contract our scapula. The best exercise for improving scapular retraction is gonna be the band pull apart. And when performing exercises, it's best to do in high repetitions, 40 to 50 reps at a time. In order to hit the rear delts and not the rhomboids, you need to make sure your shoulders are pronated. So when you're doing the band pull aparts or the flies, make sure your shoulders are pronated. And that's the end of the video, you guys. Very simple, very effective. I kept it short, easy, all the information you guys wanted. Hopefully I didn't drag it along too much. End of video, please subscribe to my channel if you guys haven't already. Like the video, share it. Thanks.